and welcome back to another TechMinds video. In this video, we're going to be testing the Slidewinder DX from M1 ECC antennas, which is a portable or base station loaded vertical which supports operation from between 40 to the 10 meter handbands. Now I had seen a few other reviews of this antenna and being someone that doesn't really do portable work, I wanted something which would get me outdoors. Now at the time of purchasing this kit, it cost around £150 and comes with everything that you see here. However, if you just want the coil and the whip antenna, then you can purchase those separately. Now the first item we look at here is the coil, which appears to be a 3D printed part with careful and professional quality assembly of the coil, tuning mechanism and the end connectors. The tuning of this coil is performed by sliding the metal ring up and down the coil until you find the resonance for the band you wish to use. Either end of the coil, we see a 3 8 thread and socket. The bottom 3 8 thread would either attach to a mobile mount if using mobile or into a ground spike kit. A military folding antenna appears to be the perfect match for the coil in terms of weight. I definitely wouldn't recommend using anything heavier than this whip antenna unless it's extremely light. The folding antenna has a total length of 285 centimeters or 9.3 feet and has seven collapsible sections. Now each section is held together with an elastic style material which makes deploying this antenna very fast. As mentioned before, I purchased the complete kit so the ground spike kit came with it. Now the spike itself just pushes into the ground and can fully support the coil and antenna without any guy ropes attached. The ground spike has an SO239 underneath to connect your coax and on the top it has a 38 thread to connect the coil to it. There are also two wing nuts which are used to attach the supplied ground radials. There are a total of four ground radials provided and each of these are 4.5 meters in length. Of course, you can add more if you wish. Now each radial has a nice 3D printed insulator at the end which helps to keep the radials straight if using something like tent pegs. So my first portable test with the Slime Winder DX was to mount it on the car using a mag mount. The mag mount of choice was a three magnet version, which is extremely strong and provides a better earth through capacitive coupling. With the antenna placed in the center of the roof, it was easy to reach to the tuning core and adjust for the band I was using. This type of antenna does require a really good earth, so please consider that when you're using it. The radio of choice for this portable session was the Zygu G90, which is a 20 watt HF transceiver. Now, one of the nice features of this transceiver is that it has an SWR scanner feature, which makes tuning the antenna core really easy. Now I'll show you this shortly. So my first contact was into Russia with RW1A on the 20 meter band at 14.22 megahertz, and then a nice contact into Italy afterwards. Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. The yeah, Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Good afternoon, Five Nine. My name is Vlad. Okay. Yeah, very good uh, afternoon, Vlad. Uh, I'm running 20 watts here, 20 watts with a uh, Zygu G90 radio. Just testing out a new radio. The name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango. And. Um, around 20 miles west of London, Vlad. Just wondering, what's the weather like over there today? Yeah, okay, Vlad. Well, 73s, and uh, yeah, you'll report your 5x7, by the way, 5x7. Uh, 73s, uh, have a good afternoon playing radio. M0 DQW clear. Bye bye. Uh, good luck, radio whiskey one alpha. Hello, CQ on 20 meters, CQ 20, Italy, Italy 5, whiskey radio tango Charlie calling CQ 20. Mexico 0, Delta, Quebec whiskey. Plus, plus, very loud into the 
Central Italy. The name is Claudio. Can you help? Yeah, good afternoon, Claudio. Well, uh, I'm only running 20 watts here, 20 watts from a Zygu G90. Just testing a uh, an antenna on the car this afternoon. So I'm actually mobile and uh, just testing a, an antenna called a, um, a, a slide winder. But uh, yes, you're very strong as well. Five, nine plus 10 into the UK this afternoon, Claudio. The name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango QSL. Fine business, Mike, no problem. Very, very stable senior here in my location. No QS better on your modulation, so very nice and uh, very good, very good, no problem at all. Yeah, my working condition is about uh, three, uh, 600, uh, 500 watts, 500 watts at the moment, into three element full size on blue antenna, 22 meters up, uh, and ICOM 756 Pro 3, and this is my setup, I high. So, as I moved up to the 17 meter band on 18.12 megahertz, I was able to make contact into the east coast of the USA. Now, even though Barry, November 4 Whiskey Foxtrot uniform, had a little trouble receiving me, we still managed to QSO and prove that the slide winder was working well on 17 meters also. Queen Whiskey. Delta Queen Whiskey. After reviewing the video back, it did look like my tuning was off slightly as the SWR looked to peak around 2.5, and I'm sure I could have got it better. As I moved down the 40 meter band, I recorded the SWR scanner feature of the G90 while adjusting the coil. As the antenna was on the roof of the car and the radio was on the dashboard, it was easy to see while making the adjustments. Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, you're also 5 and 9, very, very strong into the United Kingdom this afternoon. The name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango, and I'm running 20 watts, 20 watts, QSL. Okay, Matt, thank you very much for coming back on the special event. The name of this side is Greg, uh, the personal is Oscar Norway 6 Yankee Papa. You are in the log of the special event. Thank you, bye-bye, and best wishes from Flanders Fields. Bye-bye. Yeah, 73s, and uh, good luck. Bye-bye. You are there, Oscar Norway 7 5 Alpha. Now, surprisingly, 15 meters was open and pretty much packed full of stations. I managed to log a contact into Greece, which was quite nice. Uh, Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Good afternoon from Greece. Thanks a lot for coming back. Your signal report 5x7, over. Yes, yes, you're 5x9, five 5x9. Nine, five nine. I'm running 20 watts, 20 watts, and I'm currently mobile. The name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango, QSL. Very good, Mr. Mata. For 30 watts only, your signal is strong enough. Thanks again for coming back to my call. You are doing an excellent job over there. My best wish is and stay safe. 73, sir. Yeah, 73, stay safe and uh, have a fantastic afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir. Again, thanks a lot. Now, 10 metres wasn't really open, but I did manage to hear a station in Cyprus who was quite strong. And to us at 5, Bravo 4, VL calling 10. Mexico 0, Delta, Quebec, Whiskey. I did try calling him, but I believe there was many other stronger stations calling too, so my little 20 watt signal wasn't really cutting it. Now the following day, I took the antenna to a local field and set it up as a ground mount using the ground spike and four wire radials as shown here. My well, setup was really quick and very easy. As you can see here, the antenna supports itself quite nicely, just using the ground spike with no guy wires. My first contact was on 40 meters with Peter, Papa Alpha 50, Papa Kilo Zulu, and for some reason I said I was QRP. Now I had in my mind I was going to change the radio to 10 watts, which would have been QRP for voice, but I didn't and I left it at 20 watts. My bad. However, I still managed the contact and it was quite satisfying. Uh, Mexico Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey QRP. Yeah, thank you very much. You're five and nine, five and nine. The name here is Matt, Mexico Alpha Tango, QSL. Roger that, Matt. Thank you for the QRP call. You're in the lab. 
I did perform the same test as I did when running the antenna on the car, and in my opinion, it works just as well ground mounted. But there are obviously lots of variables, so it's not exactly science here. But for an easy deployable 40 to 10 meter antenna for both ground mount and mobile use, this pretty much ticks the boxes for me. You can also remove the coil, which provides some nice resonance around the 10 meter band. And in fact, with an ATU, you can reach from 10 to 6 meters, although I didn't personally try it. Well, there we go, guys. An overview and testing of the Slidewinder DX antenna from M1 ECC antennas here in the UK. Now, they do ship worldwide, so if you're interested in this antenna, then I'll leave a link to the website down below. Now, don't forget to mention that you saw this antenna on the Tech Minds YouTube channel if you're going to place an order or contact them. Until the next video, guys, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.